So happy you could join us again. I am with Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a food and wine sommelier of the year. The group includes the Sovereign in Georgetown, also down in Penn Quarter. We've got the Partisan uh, connected right there with Red Apron. Greg, it is always great to see you. Me too. Happy New Year. Same to you. What is on tap this week? This week we have a, a very, very a cool beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing Company called Resilience Butte County Proud IPA. Uh, an amazing story behind this beer, but first let's just start with the liquid. It is classic Sierra Nevada. It almost uh, could tell. That yeah, it's I know Sierra the color is, is perfect. 6.7% alcohol. Ooh. Kind of reminiscent of, of Celebration Ale, mm -hmm. uh, which of course we love and we just uh, have been drinking for the past uh, month or so. Um, this is uh, just a, a classic West Coast style IPA full caramel malt character. It's hopped uh, with Centennial Chinook and Cascade. Chinook mostly for bittering. That's that like little bit of tobacco bitterness we get on the on the palate. And then citrus, pine, floral, a little bit of grapefruit note in the nose from the hop character. Just an incredible beer. And one in our area, you're only gonna see it on draft um, from Sierra Nevada. Uh, not in the can, but you will see it on draft and then you're gonna see it from a lot of other brewers because this is a fundraising beer and, and, and the most singular fundraising beer that's uh, been brewed by American brewers. So Sierra Nevada was, was um, affected uh, by the campfire that happened in November right outside of Chico, California, where the brewery is located, the original brewery is located. Uh, 153,000 acres were burned. Uh, you know, nearly 100 people lost their lives, 13,000 homes or so, uh, many of which the homes were of those of Sierra Nevada employees. So Sierra Nevada said, we want to raise money. And they reached out to the, everyone in the industry and said, who wants to brew this beer with us? They shared the recipe. They got uh, malt suppliers and hop suppliers to donate um, some money. And everybody got together to donate money. I think altogether, 1,400 different breweries from across the country, including Blue Jacket, our brewery, brewed this beer. There's going to be about 17,000 barrels of this beer brewed. 4.2 million pints, that's the equivalent, uh, and all of the proceeds are gonna go to uh, those affected by the campfire. That's what makes America great. In America <laughs> is great yeah. because of things like this working together. So that's fabulous. Totally. And uh, whole cone hop goodness oh, from yeah. Sierra Nevada. You got it, you can taste it, you can smell it. It it's is delicious. Incredible beer for a great cause. So go out and check it out. Locally in DC, uh, Blue Jacket, the aforementioned, uh, Three Stars Brewing Company, Atlas, and Right Proper, the brew pub, all crafted um, their version of this beer, all tasting incredible. We just did an event um, last week with um, Blue Jacket in Sierra Nevada here at Church Key celebrating um, both versions of Resilience. So definitely a cool beer to go out and get, and you'll see it in every jurisdiction across the country. People have been brewing this beer. How is the, have you heard anything from your friends at Sierra Nevada, how the response has been? I mean, uh, I'm oh, just some, guessing sales have been. Huge response, yeah. yeah, huge sales. But I can tell you from Sierra Nevada's perspective, they never expected so many people to say, absolutely, I mean, 1,400 breweries. Now there's over 7,000 in the U.S. But still. So what's the matter with the rest of you? <laughs> um, but you know, and it was dropping on a dime because like this, you know, the fire happened in early November. Sierra put the program together at the end of November and here we are. So there wasn't a lot of time, you know, and so a lot of people had to find room in their schedule and many did. Overwhelmed by the support. And think about it, I mean, these are competitors technically. So for everybody to get together and say, we're gonna brew this beer, uh, you know, in Sierra Nevada, it was cool too. Like they willingly just shared the recipe down to the water profile. Here's how to make this beer. And frankly, here's how to make beer like Sierra Nevada makes, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, just a cool thing that wouldn't happen in other industries. What would you pair it with? Uh, this beer is, I mean, amazing. I think of Sierra Nevada beer as like what you used to think about when you thought about old school IPAs. It's got enough malt sweetness to, uh, to deal with, you know, seared meats, really cool. So just like burgers and skirt steaks and, uh, you name it, a seared pork ch tenderloin or pork chop would be amazing. Um, but also, I like it with with uh, richer fish, uh, grilled, uh, you know, salmon, tuna, things like that. But I also love, I really like black cod and, or also known as sable fish, things that are kind of rich and meaty but delicate at the same time. Halibut uh, works in there too. Red snapper, excellent. And then for me, especially in the new year, 
trying to eat more healthy, right, after the holidays. This is a great salad beer. Uh, so <laughs> spinach, salads, escarole, you know, bitter greens, lots of nuts and fruit, cheese in there. Going to be really great with this beer. Escarole, that's the, the thing in the, the shrimp in the shell. Oh, no, that's escargot. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.